Tonight, yes, I do, with Adam Booth and the rumours, inventions, fantasies surrounding David Hayes' future. Each and every day I hear or read about a new challenger for David's WBA heavyweight title. It's relentless. This fight and that fight. He's going to do this, he's going to do that, he's going to fight here, he's going to fight there, he's going to fight this guy so he can fight this guy, he's going to do this. Oh my God, I give up writing about it. If I wrote about it every day, I'd be the richest journalist in what passes for Fleet Street. So let's, let's forget the myths, let's get the truth or as close to the truth as possible. Adam Booth, how are you, kid? How you doing, Steve? You okay? Yeah, I'm doing fantastic, Adam. Now, according to the way I've been looking at things, Adam, you've met with at least five different television companies and at least 17 different managers and promoters to get David Hayes' next fight. Give us <laughs> a clue. What's going on? Uh, if all the rumours were true, I could start a couple of football teams with the people <laughs> I've been speaking to. But <laughs> to David Hayes? Yeah. The, the, the <laughs> truth of the matter is, uh, this week I'm starting to have conversations on a number of fronts. You know, there's... One thing we're not short of at the moment is uh, people that want to challenge David for his WBA belt. Yeah. And uh, I would say that this week alone, I'm probably going to speak to six or seven different parties. Okay. So that's six or seven uh, different potential fighters. Now, obviously, the Klitschko's are in that mix, uh, and I'm assuming that uh, I'm assuming that also Audley Harrison is in that mix somewhere somehow. Well, you know, listen, we'd be foolish not to consider all the. Uh, viable options mm -hmm. and uh, as you quite rightly say those those three names are certainly names that we're talking to as well as uh, you know uh, that there's there's been people like Hasim Rachman I forgot, I forgot um, about Hasim he wasn't even on my list there's, yeah, there's, I've, had, I've had calls for Hasim Rachman and and and, and the number of other Shannon people. James, Briggs James, James Tony. Tony Shannon Briggs yep all of them <laughs> Uh, Thomas Adamic. Oh, I forgot about Adamic as well. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm quite concerned when I don't see a heavyweight link to David Hay. That scares me, to be honest with you. <laughs> no, there's, there's, there's a few, and, and sure. you know, I mean, there's been a lot. Of, I, I've been reading everything and, and, and a, a lot of criticism as to the fact that you know we've been quiet up until now. The reason we've been quiet is because there's been nothing to say. Yeah. And, and there, you know, apart from talking to you now, there isn't anything to say other than the fact that we're we're, we're starting. Uh, we're starting talks now, and that's all. And that's all I want. I want. All I wanted was you to confirm that you are talking to various people. That nothing's dead. That everything ongoing. As you say, there's potentially six options. What about the WBA? Are they forcing anybody on you? No, we had the, we had the uh, an issue last week where the uh, Ruslan Chagayev and uh, Carly yeah. Mian fought in an eliminator. Um, Chagayev won, and, be, uh, and technically becomes the next official challenger, but. You know, there's problems with Chagayev because of his licensing issue, yeah, uh, and his hepatitis status, yeah, and and the fact that he can't be licensed in certain countries. Yeah, and my understanding is that he he can't he can't get licensed in the UK. So that's and the that, trouble. Yeah, that certainly sort of puts uh, puts a, a cloud of doubt over his credibility as a as an official challenger. But again, you know, that 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 certainly to doesn't come into play until next year anyway. Yeah. And, and with regard to the big two, the Vitali, big two in every way, Vitali and Vladimir, um, uh, I'm assuming you're still talking to their advisor, Shelley Finkel, or have we progressed to speaking to Bernd Bonter, the German guy that's always with them? Well, I don't think we need to, you know, speaking to Bernd isn't a progression. Oh, okay. Uh, far from it, from history, but, <laughs> Shelley, uh, you know, I, I, was, I was on the phone to Shelley Finkel today. Sure. Um, and we've agreed just to stay in touch until until it's time to speak seriously but you know it's it's not it's not as simple as just sitting down and saying all right let's do the fight there's you know Nikolai Valoev still has a rematch option with David we didn't you know he didn't he didn't give a voluntary uh challenge to David for nothing we've yeah, always said that and so we've got to sit down and see how all the parties fare mm -hmm. before we make a move what what are we thinking are we, are we are thinking like October November ish some sometime what is that would that be realistic think? yeah well, we've got the World Cup and we we've got yeah, the stuff hanging over together so yeah that that's a that's a realistic time frame and and, and what about um w are we thinking this country are we thinking we'll, we'll see what develops I mean is that is, are we still fluid on that type of thing well we're fluid but we'll do every, we'll do everything we can Good. to make sure that the most viable option is in the UK. Yeah, uh, and I think that's, you know, I think that's the right option, unless there's a massive amount available elsewhere. But, don't, but you know, if you, compare, if you compare the money that's, you know, and, and the potential revenues that are generated now, David generates more than the Klitschko's. Yeah. Oh, uh, what, uh, what, actually generate through the gate, you mean? 
well, not just generate through the gate, but the pay per view rev and that type of stuff. It, yeah, yeah, international TV and and, and USA, etc. Okay, it's fantastic. Now, what about George Groves? Leaving da leaving David aside, let's talk about your your your, your Commonwealth super middleweight champion um, who couldn't fight on the undercard uh, recently, the Mosley and Mayweather undercard because he got a bit of flu and there was also the problem with the ash and stuff. Uh, what's happening with George? We didn't box <coughs> on the Mayweather undercard because he he uh, strained a tendon in his shoulder. Oh, I didn't realize it was an so injury. It wasn't, it wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth. The you risk. Know, rushing his training just to just have a nice little debut in the States, but of course not. I had it confirmed uh, yesterday that he'll box on the uh, Juan Manuel Marquez on the card uh, at the Mandalay Bay on July the 31st. Okay, so it's Mango, July, July 31st, and then back here for one, uh, hopefully before, uh, in, in uh, October, maybe on the undercard of David somewhere, something like that, after, is that what you're thinking? After, after the summer, definitely looking at George defending his Commonwealth title. Okay. And, and you know, maybe <laughs> flirting with the idea of of uh, the, there's a, there's, I think uh, there's a super middleweight prize fighter coming up soon. Maybe, maybe the winner of that could challenge George for his Commonwealth. That's a Fuck cracking a idea. Bit. Yeah, I mean, Bar and Barry would be receptive to that. I'm sure. Uh, okay, so uh, so so nothing, nothing's dead. Nothing's confirmed. It's all floating. There's all the names that have been mentioned are are still out there. You're still talking to people, and it's an interesting summer for you because last summer, you know, you, you get it, you're gearing up for value. The summer before was all the chaos, all the chaos rather with um, with the Klitschko's, and this summer is it slightly, is it more relaxed than your previous two summers, Adam? Yeah, you could say that, Steve. Yeah, a oh. little bit more. <laughs> you know, we're we're certainly in a in a nicer position. Yeah, you are in a great position. Listen, give our best to David, and we'll speak to him, and we'll speak to you very soon. Adam Booth, thanks very much for joining thanks, us tonight. Man, no problem. So there we got it. I got it answers. Plenty of the questions that people have been posing on the boxing websites, BoxRec and East Side. Uh, he's still talking to six people. He's no closer to doing a deal with any of them. Audley Harrison's in that mix. Thomas Adalmix in that mix. Hassim Rackman's in that mix. Vladimir Klitschko's in that mix. Vitaly Klitschko's in that mix. Looks like October, November. And what's more... He's going to do everything within his power to make that fight happen in the UK. That was Adam Booth there talking about David High. So there's been